Welcome. In this video, we are looking at the buck converter with a 12 volt input and it's designed to deliver an output of 3 volts and provide 1.2 amps to the load. To do this, I'll show you how to run a transient simulation, analyze the output waveforms using the simulation data panel, and the measurement techniques you can use to determine a voltage ripple. Okay. So here I built a model of the circuit in Altium Designer. We'll go to the simulation dashboard, start verification to check that all models can be simulated, then go into the transient simulation category under analysis, setup, and run. Okay, now I'm supposed to have an output ripple voltage of less than 1%. Um, I'm going to run the simulation of the output voltage and the RMS V out. So let's go ahead and click run here to see if this is going to give me what I want. Okay, so it's operating just fine. It, um, the voltage overall is lower than the three volts. So that's a problem. And also this ripple is looking kind of larger. So let me zoom in here to see what is going on. So I can just zoom in on these values. Okay, so now the waveform is showing here and I can just add a cursor. So I'm going to add a cursor here and look at this peak and then I'll add another cursor to look at the, the trough. Okay. Now, instead of eyeballing this, I'm going to open my simulation data panel. So let's go to the panels, open sim data, and then I can use this, uh, sim data panel to give me all the details I need, like the X and Y values, the, the distance between two points. Uh, so this is very helpful. Okay, so I'm focused on the difference between B and A and notice that it's 69 millivolts. This, when it comes to, like if you divide this by three volts, comes to a 2.3% ripple voltage. That's greater than the 1% maximum that we're supposed to design for. So we need to modify the circuit. Maybe there's something wrong with it. So let's go back to the schematic and see what's happening here. Okay, so here um, I can see that the output capacitor actually is a little small for the voltage that we need on the output. So this should be actually a lot larger, maybe at least 10 microfarad, but I'll put it to 22 microfarad. And then the output resistor actually needs to be larger so that it pulls less current because um, this is pulling more than we were needing. This is pulling uh, 3 amps. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this simulation. We'll go to the simulation dashboard and um, we can just rerun the same simulation and see what the results are like. Here I'm going to right click and fit the document. So uh, this looks a lot better and is closer to what I'm expecting. Let's see the output voltage here. Notice how it is hovering around the three volts like it should and if I zoom in here and place my cursors, I can see what the ripple actually is this time. Obviously, it's a lot less, but how much less is the question? So if we go into the SIM, SIM data panel again, we can see that, wow, okay, the ripple voltage is only 3.2 millivolts. Okay, so if I divide 3.25 millivolts by 3 volts, that gives me... 0.1% on the ripple voltage. Okay. Now the next thing is we don't know the full DC voltage range that this buck converter can work in. So what I'm going to do is use the sweep option. This is the parameter sweep uh, option in simulation. So let's go to the simulation dashboard here and I'll show you how this is, how this works. So you can check mark sweep and go into the settings. All right, there are a lot of things you can change here. We're going to sweep parameter, all right? And then you want to select V1 and set that from 0 to 24 volts, and we'll do a step size of 1 volt. Now, after setting this, we can go ahead and run the sweep function and rerun that transient simulation and see what we get here. All right, so what this does is it does multiple simulations at each of those values for the for the swept parameter. It's rerunning the simulation for V1 being at zero volts. 
okay the simulation is done and here we've got we've got right around here with this voltage input voltage being eight volts and around nine or ten is where it reaches the three volt output that we're looking for okay all right what we can notice that beyond 10 volts there isn't much of a change in the output voltage of the circuit okay the next thing we can do is uh, export the results so you can do that by going to file export chart now you can click OK and save this data and then send it to your other engineers on the team like your control systems engineer to help you in your design. Thanks for watching.